Good morning, everybody, and welcome to ARP 196, Introduction to Designing Web Graphics for the Spring Semester 2022. Today, we're going to work on um, Lesson 7. We've already built our, the foundation for our website, the basic structure, but it's lacking one thing, and that is to make sure, and it is already compatible for smaller screens, but we want to dress it up a bit and make sure that it's truly compatible with medium-sized screens or large, um, small screens, as well as a smartphone. So that it looks um, really good, um, you know, stellar on either platform or either screen size. So to give you an idea of what we're going to do for a small phone, I'm a, this is the, I'm looking at the finished one right now. And what I wanna do is I wanna use this screen scrubber right here. And at the moment, if we look at the top, um, these are called the media queries. And what they represent are um, the various screen sizes that you can view you know, the page to give you an idea of what it's gonna look like um, on a large screen, on a medium screen, you know, it gets a little bit smaller, a little bit more compact. Um, and then all the way down here to the vertical tablet. And if we squeeze all the way down to a smartphone, it looks the same, you know, as what we see here on a vertical tablet, but um, just compressed a little bit more. Now, the one thing that we want to do here and it looks like, oh yeah, there's a couple of things that we're going to do. Since this is the finished one that I'm showing you, is that you'll see that when we, when we go down to um, a small screen, that it switched from a three column format to a two. So that's what we'll be doing. So you'll, you'll see that um, we still have our left aside, our main content and our right aside, but our right aside drops down and changes width on a smartphone or on, rather on a, um, a tablet. And then when we go all the way down to probably a large phone, it looks pretty much the same. It's a one column now. And when we go all the way down to a really tiny smartphone. If, I, if you look carefully, you'll see that everything has changed just a little bit. The logo has gotten a little bit smaller. And when it also when it scrolls down to, when it um, scrubs down to a smaller screen size, you'll notice that green awareness is on two lines, but on a really small phone, we can make it so that it's back to uh, one line again. The other important thing is, and I mentioned this before, is that um, anytime a web page loads in a browser, it starts in the top and then it goes, it works its way down and it goes from left to right. So if we look at it again on a large screen, you'll see that we have our nav bar, we have our header, we have our left aside main content or article, and then our right aside. And when it scrunches down, we want to make sure that it remains in the same order. But when it goes all the way down to a smartphone, we don't want the, the left aside to read first. I mean, you could, you could leave it as is, but instead notice that it now reads second and then the second aside reads third. The main heading reads first. So how do we do that? That's what, one of the things that we're going to do today. And in addition to that, um, if we have time today, we will go ahead and we will add the new media query, which is right here and add these four selectors um, to make sure that it works properly at the, um, the smallest screen size and looks really good. Okay, so I'm gonna bring it back up to medium size. And one of the ways that we could, on a small screen, we could get rid of this. Um, if, you, if you want it hidden, but not reorganized, we could use, um, a, uh, a bootstrap selector for that. 
to make it disappear. So that's one of the things that the textbook shows us and we can all do that. I'm gonna use the, um, let me go ahead here. Let me make my screen a little bit brighter. There we go. We can use and select the aside. Okay, but I'm gonna start, I need to go back before I do it. I need to go back to my layout and you'll see that it, now when I scrub it down, this is our start file and forgetting to switch. Nothing changes, it just scrunches and that at a certain point you get the little hamburger symbol and which makes it compatible, but we're just resting it up a bit more. So, but one of the things that we can do when we make it on a small screen, we can go ahead and if you wanted just the left side to disappear, you could do that. So what I'll do is I'm gonna go ahead and click in here, select, anywhere inside there and then make sure with the tag selector select the entire um aside from here not just the paragraph tag or the um, block quote or anything like that so and you'll notice that this pops up so we want to make sure that i click on a side and i can go ahead and i can add another class to this and what i'm going to do is i'm going to hit dot hidden hyphen, small, SM, okay? Hit the return key twice. And now not watch what happens. When I put it on a small screen, it just disappears. So it goes away, which is fine, but then notice what happens. We, now we're left with um, uh, our main content still stuck in six units and that the right side gets pushed over and we have this negative space to the right. So really that's not a very good option, but it is doable. It, it's something that we can do. So I'm gonna come back up here and get rid of it. So the next series of steps are kind of like rubbing your stomach and patting your head at the same time. Um, it's easy for me to get goofed up and I very well may get goofed up in the process. I hope not but it will be easily remedied if I do. So let's start by switching the left aside and putting it after the main content <clears throat> and then creating um, bootstrap um, components to bring it back, even on a large or uh, medium sized screen. So to do that, I need to use the DOM, okay? So let me move my face over here and let's look at the DOM over here. I'm gonna close um, pretty much everything here so I don't get confused. There's the header, there's the body tag. Let's just close it all the way up. And I'm gonna, instead of the, the head of the document, I'm gonna go down to body. And then I'm going to close all of these. Again, it's just easier for me so I don't get confused. Here's our div row, here's our div header. And the row is the one that has our nav bar in it. And here's our main row. That's the one that we want to affect. So I'm gonna twirl down on that. So I'm just looking at that. <clears throat> I'm gonna close the block quote, close the aside, just so you can see under the main row, <clears throat> we have three columns. Here's our aside, here's our article, and here are, here's our right aside. Now they are they are listed in the order that they will um, be retrieved and be visible inside a browser. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the left aside and I'm going to click and I'm going to drag it beneath the article. And you can see that it pushes it over and they fit fine, but on a medium sized screen or on a large screen, we want it to get pushed over. So what I need to do is I come, need to come back here and I'm gonna say dot column small, um, hold on. Wait, 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 I don't wanna do that. I just wanna say, um, dot call column hyphen small hyphen 
pole six. Add another hyphen and add six. Because if you recall, the entire width of the column is um, 12 units. And we change the settings from the original 444 to 364 or 363. So now that pushes it over. So now what we need to do is we need to select our main article. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to select the article, make sure that it's selected. And now I want it to push it over three units so that it fits properly. And we're pretty much you know, on our way for um, it check, you know, for it resizing on a small screen the way um, it should look or look optimally. So I'm going to click again here and I'm going to hit um, dot column hyphen small um, push. push three. Okay, and it's going to push it over. And I forget always what push and pull means. And now we're back to where we were. But you'll notice, and this is what we need to do to test, is that when it shrinks down to a smaller screen, you'll notice that now our main content or the article now pre is presented first. That's good. Okay. But now what we're going to do on a small screen, okay, and we get down to something that's really small, we want this to look even more different. So what we need to do is I'm gonna come back here to, um, I'm gonna make it small here, medium size. And I'm gonna change these from small to medium on both of these. And then we're, so that's what it will look like on a medium sized screen, but then on a small screen, we're going to change it even further. So let me come back here and let's select, let's go back and I'm gonna close these so I can see them a little bit better. Select the aside and where it says small on each of these and the same for this, we're gonna change it to medium. I'm just gonna click them there that it's properly clicked. So it's MD for medium. Whoop. MD for medium three. Okay, and we'll do the same here. So let's go back over to our main article. And I want instead of small, uh, did I change it over here on this one too? So hold on here. Make sure that that's selected. Yeah, see, I forgot to do this. Got to do it on both. Told you it's easy to get messed up. MD for medium. Now let's go back here. Now that I've changed both of them, make sure that the main article is selected. And again, instead of small, we're going to add, change it to medium. And you'll see why in a minute because. When we change it to small, then that's where it's going to go to a two column format. Okay. And then automatically it's going to go to a um, one column format. Uh, I have to concentrate here. I'm not going to do this right. Because on my little screen, it's hard for me to see here. So there we have it. Okay, so now we've taken our three column format and on a medium sized screen, it looks like this, but then on a small screen, it switches down. Okay, and you'll notice that the columns, you know, look considerably different here. One stretches out, one doesn't. There we go, we go down here. So we, now we need to make some other adjustments here. So I'm gonna bring this back up. And it's important that you um, continually check, test as you're doing this. So on a small screen, what we're going to do is I want it to be um, 
hold on here. I got to make sure that we change it to medium. Again, I got to make sure that I'm, I'm moving on. So on a small screen now, we want, let's, let's start with this one. I'm going to hit the plus here. And I'm going to add dot column, C-O-L, small. Okay. Um, I want it to push. Um, I want it to be, I'm sorry, eight units. Eight units. So there we go. Right here. Um, I have to check the book because now I'm talking to you and I'm forgetting you. So we're going to add a new class for that. Dot column small eight units. And then in addition to that, what we're going to do is we're going to say, and we're going to see this in a minute. I'm going to add another one, and I want this to be dot column small. And we want this to be push four units because this is going to the, the left column will change to four. This will change to eight, which change, you know adds up to 12 again. So let's change that to push four. Okay. So let's go back over here now. Let's see, let's change this one. So we're going to go back to our right aside. And I'm going to do pretty much the same thing. I'm going to go down here and I want it first to be dot column small. And I want it to be four units. Okay. And now what I want it to do is to be um, dot column small. Because remember, we it's changing its order. And right now I need it to pull eight units over. Does that make sense? Sort of. Hopefully, when you kind of get the feel of it, it will. So dot column small pull eight units hyphen eight. Okay. So let's see what happens when I do that. And that works. It dropped to a two column format. We have. Um, the left aside now switching the four units on a small screen. And we have um, the main or article um, switching to eight units on a small screen. But now look what happens to the, to the right aside. It just drops down to the next level. Well, we want it to be over to the right. Okay, so let's pull this back a minute. And let's go ahead and change the settings for the right side now. So I'm going to go ahead and let's close some of these so I know which where I'm at. I want the right side. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and that's sidebar two. So I'm going to click another one here. Now what we want is dot column hyphen small. Um. And I need to, oh, I didn't change that. You know what? I need to change this aside too. So let me change this. Remember, uh, this needs to be on, on medium size. It needs to be um, four. Uh, medium size. I need to change that to medium. MD. There we go. Now I can add this. So you have to remember that. Every time you change one, it's going to affect another back and forth. So now I can go back to dot column small. This is going to be eight units now. Okay. And we want it to. Um, go ahead, and we want to add that. We want it to pull. 
um, four units. So I'm going to go here, and I want it to be dot column um, poll four units because it, otherwise it will be left to the right. So let's see, there is one more thing we have to put. So I'm gonna go ahead and we'll see what happens. <clears throat> okay, so that's almost right, but not quite. Okay, now we want it to pull um, eight units. So make sure that I did that right. I told you that sometimes this gets goofed up. So let's select this again. Um, maybe it needs to be pulled eight units. So let me try eight and see what happens here. Okay, let's move it over. No, it's not doing it. So let me go ahead and let me check the code here. So for the, um, let's change this again. Let's check this. So what I want here um, on the right side here is dot column small. Uh, let me change this. There we go. Eight units. I said pull, I'm sorry, it needs to be push. I told you, I forget. So that needs to be push four units. That's why it wasn't working. Four units. There we go. I always forget between push and pull. Now let's move it over. Is it working? Push four units, and it should jump all the way out to the right, and it's not doing that. So we have, oh, I know why. Okay, that we have dot column medium three units, which is correct. Then we have dot column small eight units. We want it to be dot uh, column small. Well, I forgot small, see? I can't walk and chew gum at the same time. There we go. That's what I wanted it to happen. So now what we need to do is dot column small and we need to make it push um, zero and then it will fall back into place. So I'm gonna add one more. And I want dot column small push hyphen zero. Now it goes back into place. So lots of, like I say, lots of maneuvering here to get it to work properly. So now that we have this working and that's looking pretty good, what we're going to do is we're going to add a custom media query so that it looks really good on a smartphone. So again, when I, before we do that, though, let's go ahead and see what happens. So I move it down. So that should be push, small push, four units. No, see, it's not working. So I have dot column small. How about pull? Pull four units. No, that wasn't right. So let's go back. Okay, so dot column small, push four, column small, push zero. So I need to check. Well, I'm talking to you guys and see why this give what gives. So it's that column small, eight units. 
That's right. Um, make sure that my spelling is correct and everything. Now I have dot column small push four units. So that's correct. But on the small screen here, it's not looking correct. It needs to go over. So let me go ahead and nix this. And let's go back again. Let me undo a few steps here. There we go. So now it's working. So what did I do wrong? See, it doesn't take much to be off. And I can't tell you at the moment what I had done wrong. I have dot column small push four units. And then on a larger screen, they go there. So that's it. It's on a medium size. So it's not on a small. I want dot column small. That's where I need to change that. I need to change that to medium. So dot column medium push hyphen zero. There we go. So now that's working. But now let's see again, when I go down, that's what I want. So when it goes down to a small screen on a tablet, it now switches after it's dropped down to eight units. And then when it goes down to a really small screen, goes down to a single column and we've changed it so that again, the main article reads first. So the next thing that we need to do today, and that will be it for today, um, is to work with media queries. So media queries are just that, that it, it, it sets it up so that your screen, um, depending on the media size, will look a certain way. And so where they are found here is where it says media over to the right. Those are where you put your selectors for a media query. And let's look at green styles. And you can see that I already have one here. And which one am I looking at? That's why, oh shoot, okay. I made a mistake. I, what I wanted to do is, let's just go through it though. Um, and I'll point it out to you and it won't take us that long. I made a mistake in that um, because we, had, we already have a finished version of this and it's using the same style sheet that um, we already have a media query down here. When I select that, you can see that we have these four in place. So there's just four of them. So let's go over them and see what each one does. So what we wanna do, um, if we were to go ahead and remove that media query, let me go ahead and do that. And I'll go ahead and I'll get rid of it. And it doesn't change anything at this size. It doesn't change anything here. It doesn't change anything down here, not yet. But where we really notice a difference is when we get to about 400 and 26 um, pixels for a width. And you can see a couple of things that um, where it says green awareness and action, it's now on two lines. And look at the size of the main heading here and the same with the subheading. Well, we need to tweak those a little bit so it looks a little bit better. So what I'm gonna do when we move it down to there, if I click the plus right here, it's going to, um, for a maximum width of 426, we're gonna add a media query, okay? And we're just gonna link it to our current one. So let's link it to our, um, our CSS file. Let me see if I can't find it here. Oh, no, 
Okay, let's cancel. So I have no media query here. Let me try again under green styles. Let's go ahead and add. Okay. Define media query for screen. Print, just use screen. So what I should be able to do though is make it from here. Let's click again. So we have not minimum width, but the maximum width. Oh, I know why. So it's create a new CSS file. No, I want it to exist to my existing one. So I'm not paying attention here. There we go. Now I just click OK. And now you can see that the media query has been added. And you can see that we have no selectors for it. So what we need to do is copy some existing ones and create some new ones. So the first thing that we're going to do after we've created our new media query is we're going to begin step by step from the top down to the bottom and change some properties here. Um, and the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to copy an existing selector and paste it. And then we can get rid of some things and we can um, modify and create new ones in order to make it work properly. Okay. So we've got our maximum one. And again, we need to keep testing to make sure that things work here. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to do create one for um, the header dot row paragraph. So this one here. So I'm going to go ahead and select this. Now I'm going to make it header dot row p. And this is going to override the other one. So now what I need to do is we need to, I don't want to show set there, but what we want to do is we're going to change the properties of that so that it now all fits on a single row. So um, instead of dropping down to two rows. Now what we want to do is we're going to go down to letter spacing. So under type, let's go to letter spacing. Where are you? There we go. So what we're going to do now is to override the other one is I want it to be, um, what size do I want it? I want it to be 0.1 M. So I'm gonna to go to M's. And you can see what it does when there's none but we want a little bit of space. I want point, point 0.1. So it stretches it out a little bit, but now it all fits on one, one line. And if I pull it up, notice that it stretches out. So there's subtle little differences here. Okay, so that's a good start. The next thing that we can do is we can copy and paste settings. So if we go back to our green styles, what we can do is we can select the one for um, header.row, okay? So let's select the one here. And then since I can't find it just a minute, I'm gonna put header.row. This one, and I'm going to right click on it. And I can say that I can copy the styles. Just all styles. I'll go ahead and I'll copy. Um, I'll just say copy all styles for right now. Okay. Now I can go back to the um, the media query, and I can go ahead and I'll change this. We'll add this again, and this will be header dot row. And now I can go ahead and right click on it, and I can paste styles. Now let's see what we have here. And looking at this, um, there's a number of things. If we say show set, we can see that the padding at the top is 20 pixels and the bottom is 20 pixels. Um, we can also look at the background color. There's a number of things that we can get rid of. We don't need, for example, um, 
to add the background color. So some of these things can be turned off or some of them can be actually removed. So for example, the background, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna delete it. And you'll notice that nothing happens to it because it's still inheriting the um, one, the previous one that we use for the main um, area there. And if we go back again and we look at some of the other um, properties, we can go to right click here and we can say, go to code. And it's gonna take us down here. Okay, so for that, that um, area, we can go back and we can change it to um, background size. So let's go back down here. We have our background image. Let me move some of this stuff out of the way. This over here. So now what I can do for the background size, um, head and row. I don't want main, I want header. There we go. So a background size, instead of, um, I guess it was already changed, it should be, I guess that didn't change it. Oh, it's currently 75%. So we want 75% auto, and that's what it should be. So that's right. Okay. And then, so apparently, 75%, hmm. okay. Well, that maybe didn't get cleared from when I deleted the other one. The next thing to complete the mobile design, we wanna change the padding for it to 10 pixels and zero. So the padding is gonna be Instead of 20 pixels, we'll make it 10 pixels, a little bit less. Notice that it pushes it up a little bit. The font size, we're going to change um, to 90%. So let's look at the font size. Um, let's go back here and turn off show set font. Let's look at font size and change it to set as zero. Let's change it to 90%. But it's just a little bit smaller. And then um, for the main row article, H1, we can create a new selector for that. So we have our header working. Um, but for the main article, we need to now change the padding and we need to change the line height and we need to change, make sure that the text now is centered. And then we're going to change it for the H2 tag and then we'll be set and be ready to go. So I'm going to pull this down a little bit. So that's already been changed. So now what I need to do again with here. Um, maybe, yeah, font size is 90%. So let's go back here. I hope I'm not, I'm not, I'm paying attention here in what I'm supposed to be doing. So let's go back again. And I want it to be <clears throat> main.row space um, article. And space and then H2, or I'm sorry, H1. There we go. So now this will affect the H1 tag. So for the H1 tag, padding the top is going to be 15 pixels. So let's go back over here. So under padding the top 15 pixels. So that pushes it down a little bit. We want the font size to be 185%. So that's going to um, change that a little bit. So um, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, what did I do? What did I do? I thought I made that before. Let 
header dot row h1. I have There we go. Make sure that I have the right things selected here. And there you go. That's selected. So again, margin at the top is going, or not margin, sorry. Um, I'm having trouble through. There we go. So padding at the top, we said was 15 pixels. Um, make sure that that's set. So that changes that. Let's go back here again. Now let's change the, um, the font size to 180%. Instead of we had 350 before, I believe. So percentage that disappears, that's a good sign. We're going to go back here and we want it to be 185%. Just so that it fits a little bit more appropriately on a small screen size. Okay. Line height 1.1 M's. So we'll put in here, put in M's. 1.1 M's. There we go. And then we want to make sure that it is centered. That looks good. And now what we need to do is we need to change, we need to create a new one for the um, um, our H2 tag in here. So let's go back here again. Now let's go ahead and add our selector. And we'll say main dot row space. Um, what do I want? Article H2. There we go. So we can make the size of the subheading a little bit smaller as well. So now we'll go back to font size and we'll change it to, we'll leave it percentage, but we're going to change it to 150%. There we go. So it's a more appropriate size. And again, we want it centered. So I like it centered. I don't think that they have it centered, but I would center it. So let's go ahead and um, not center it. We'll leave it flush that. Okay. But um, the line height should be 1.1 M's. So let's change the line height here to M's. We'll make it 1.1. So some of these things that you can modify yourself. And as I said, the, sub, the, the subheading now would probably um, either push it over a little bit. So I'd probably add um, padding to the left. Um, but that's neither here nor there. It's those kinds of changes that you can add yourself. There we go. So that's looking pretty good. Is there anything else that I need to change here? I think I got them all working. And if I'm not, you know, then we have to go back step by step. You can see that we go to a small screen. It's looking pretty good. When we go back to medium, you know, this is even small, smaller, but you know, a small screen, it jumps to a two column, and then we go to a large screen. It goes back to the three column format. So, so far, everything is working pretty well without too many glitches today. One of the things that I would do though, is um, as I'm looking at this, maybe I, on Tuesday, I'll come back and, and fix it. But if you look at the, um, the block quote, notice that it pushes all the way over here to the left side here. I would probably change that the block quote, rather than it 
be as, that far over as that maybe add some padding of maybe 10, 15 pixels so that it, it pushes it away from the edge. So as I'm looking here and I'm talking to you, I'm trying to think and do all these things at once to make sure that it's all working properly. But this is the next best uh, main stage in our lessons to add the media query um, for it for a really small screen to make sure that it looks good on all screen sizes and to change the order of the columns as well so that on a medium to a large screen, it reads three column, but then on a small screen, that would be on a, a vertical iPad, um, it would read two column. And then when it jumps to a smartphone or a very small iPad, it goes to one column with a hamburger. And when it goes to a teeny little um, smartphone, we still have everything intact, but notice that the size of the the paragraph tag changed a little bit as well as the line, the, the spacing. We changed the size of the um, H1 tag so that it was more appropriate and it all lot, you know, sits on one line. And the same with the subheading, that it's a little bit smaller than it was too. And then you can decide for yourself whether you want that to be um, flush left or centered or flush right. Um, the only thing in looking at their settings here that I don't like, as I mentioned just a moment ago, is where the um, in the quotation is here in the block quote, that I would want to change that a little bit. And that might exist over here. If we go back up here, notice that it still sits pretty far over. So if I switch from, we'll just look at green styles, and let's look at our block quote. So anytime you know you want to make changes to this, and this is what you're going to have to do for your final project. Um, let me check here. Let's go to um, main article H1. No, we want left the side. So here's the main row aside block quote. And you can see that we have margins, top and bottom, but we don't have anything for the left. So let's, down here, under um, padding, we have 0.5 Ms. So I'm gonna change that just for the heck of it right now. Let's make it one M, see what happens on the left and the right side, or at least on the left side, one M. And notice how it pushes it in just a little bit. And that looks pretty good. In fact, I might even make that 1.5 M's because um, I'm a great believer in having a lot of negative space. So it makes it a little bit easier for the, um, the viewer to read. So notice that the block quote now gets pushed over a little bit more. Now let's check it when it goes down. And there are to a two column format that looks good. And then when it goes all the way down to um, a small screen size, it looks perfect. It's not shoved up against the left like it was. And I don't think, I think that's an oversight on the book's part, but it's easy to make those adjustments or those, you know, to overlook some things like that. So we've pretty much run up against. <clears throat> Um, the hour, end of the hour. Let's see if there's a question here. Oh, okay. Um, Paula, if you can't see the hamburger sign, when you make it to the smaller one, then you did what I did the other day. You made it, you deleted something that you shouldn't. So what I would do let me show you where it's located in the code. And let's look at, this is my layout. I'm gonna call it my layout. I'm gonna save this as um, my layout. 
I don't want Marin styles. Let's go to um, source code. And I want this to be, so let me save this first. Um, I'm gonna call it um, working file. Spring 2022. Okay. So that's saved and it's all working. You know? So now what I want, um, what I would do if it's not working for you, and this happened to me, that there's a good chance in the code here it got deleted by mistake. So what I would do is I would open up the finished file and compare. So if we look here under, here's the nav bar right here at the end of this div, line 27. And then in line 28, you'll see collect the nav links, forms, and other content for toggling. Are you looking there? You want, want to talk? So um, if you want to talk, um, you can do that. But where, where it lies is that you should look here under div class row and where it says nav class, nav bar, nav bar default from line 22 to line 27. Check and see if it matches what mine has. And if it's missing, go to the final file they provide for you, copy those lines of code and paste them in there and it should work just fine. I'm gonna pause the recording because that's pretty much it for today. But um, do that right now and tell me if it works for you. And then um, I'm gonna have to go and we can work on it on Tuesday because I have a meeting in four minutes. Is that working for you, Paolo? Yeah, open the, the, the finished file that they provide for us and copy and paste that code. Because I, well, okay. Yeah, you have a good weekend too. Paula, are you there? Yeah, look at the finished version and compare the code where the nav bar is to yours. And you're going to be missing some code for that. And you know, look carefully line by line. And then you can copy the code in the finished one and paste it. And where that ar arose from is that when we were setting it up <clears throat> initially, that um, at the very at the very onset, that we probably accidentally deleted some code by mistake. It's easy to do, but that's why even in this lesson, you know, I'm checking step by step and I should have caught that earlier before I went too far with everything. Okay, so look at that. If you, if you still have problems, get a hold of me over the weekend and, or, and, I, <clears throat> and um, I'll look myself and then we can, um, is the only thing that I'm gonna do on Tuesday is show you guys how to publish this. And then I can work with you if it, um, if it still isn't working. Okay, okay. So let's go ahead and um, I'm gonna say goodbye and uh, I'm gonna... Okay, you too, have a good day. <clears throat>